Hi, it's Alexis from Craftables and today we will be making this awesome box. This opens up like this. So let's get started. So with one of your pieces of paper you're going to trim it to 9 by 7 and 3 quarters and on the 9 inch side you're going to score it 2 and 3 quarters and 6 and a quarter. Then on the 7 and 3 quarters side you're going to score it 3 quarters of an inch, 3 and a half and 7 inches. And then with the large scored square at the top of your trimmer you're going to score at 2 inches but only to the first score line and 7 inches only to the first score line. Start making our first half of the box. So we you scored at 2 and 7 inches, you're going to go from those little score lines that went to the first score line and to this score line up here, you can see that, so there and there, you're going to make a pencil mark with a ruler all the way down. And on the other side as well. And you're going to cut up the little score line, then across the pencil line. Forgot to say before, but could you please use your template as a guide, as not to scale, so only use it as a guide. So then you're going to cut up those score lines, only to the first score line, and then across the score line that you made the diagonal to. And you're going to cut these little rectangle pieces off. Do the same on the other side. I'll just move the rubbish out of the way. Okay, so now you're going to fold and burnish all of your score lines. Make sure you do this really well so then you can get the nice right angles on your box. So then you're going to flip these two angles up like so. So then you have the box like this. Then make a pencil mark. Across the cut edge like so. You may want to make it darker with a ruler 
just so you can see it a bit easier. And then cut it off. Do to the same, do it to the other side as well. So then what you want to do is put tape or glue on the this one here to the to the scored line. You may find glue is a bit easier so you can work with it a bit longer. I just find tape a bit easier. And fold it at right angles again and stick to the other piece like so and do to the other side okay so there you go and then you want to put a little bit of tape on the little tabs So then you want to fold these in, like so, to make a right angle again. These little extra pieces, you can just trim them off. So there you go, that's your first half of your box. So then you want to do the exact same thing to the second piece of paper. Okay, so now you should have two halves, both identical. So now you want to leave the this one aside, the darker greeny blue colour one, and chop off on the hydrangea one, this strip that goes along the top, this one here. So now you should have two identical halves, but on this one I just cut off this piece here. Then what you want to do is stick some tape on this one here. Like so. Peel it off. And then with the short little edge here, you want to line it up with the back score line. 
and fold it down like so. Press it down really firmly and then there you go, you should have your box. Okay, so now that you've finished your box, you need a piece that is two and three quarters by ten and three eighths of an inch. This will be the inner part of your card. You can do either paper, I chose the hydrangea one for this one. And then what you want to do is put it in the box, like so, and pinch at the side. And do that to both sides. There's no exact measurement for this because it will be different for everyone's. And then you just want on that line that you just pinched, you want to fold it straight. And fold it. And then do that to the other side as well. So then it should... like so if it doesn't you can just readjust it like I am with mine you won't even notice it so then you want to push it in in your box. You can eyeball it if you like, but I like to grab a pencil and do a little mark down there, across here, and up here, just so I know where to put my tape. Okay, so then you want to remove all the pieces of tape and I like to fold the pieces in, but don't push them down else they'll stick to each other. Stick the front in first. Or at least one so they don't stick to either like minded and then put it in and smooth it out and then it'll make a nice cube shape so there you go. Now we'll move on to the flower. I've already done the, a couple of the flowers and leaves, but I've got one to show you what to do. So you'll need two blues and two greens for the leaves. Then I take I take the lightest, for my flowers, take the lightest blue that you've got with a dauber. I like to go in the middle, then out about, I'd say, halfway, fading out on each petal. So then it looks like so. Sorry if you can't see that. And then I go in with the darker blue. And another dauber. 
and go around the edges. Then go back with your lighter colour and smooth it all out. Just show you how to colour the leaf and then I'll show you how to mould them. For the leaf I go in with my lightest green. And go straight down the middle. And then with the darker green, I go around the edges to the top. Then again with the lighter green and fade it all out. So there you go. Okay, so now to mould your flower. So I have a um, flower moulding pad and a stylus. I like to work the fibres a little bit first and go around every single petal and sort of break the fibres up and I like to go around to sort of curl it inwards like so and do that to all the petals Okay, so then I like to go into the middle, like so, and just curl it all around, and then get the point, the dobber, and put it in the middle to curl it up a bit more. So now you should have done that to all four flowers. So now you're going to get your green flower I mean, so now you'll have all four flowers done then you want to get one of your large flowers and stick some glue in the middle I like to use this one because it dries like hot glue but it's actually cold And it's stringy like it too. Then I like to offset the second large flower. Push it down. And sort of work the stylus with it too. Just let that for a couple minutes. And then get your, do the same thing to your smaller two. and then offset it again and then get some glue onto the larger set of flowers And offset the other one to it as well. <laughs> Set that aside to dry for a moment while you do your leaves. So for your leaves, work the fibres again. go around the edge just like the flowers okay 
so you want to do that to all three flowers and then what I like to do is get some of the glue and stick it on one of the stems of one of the flowers and then stick another to it like so then just leave the other one plain then stick this one to the bottom of your flower where you think looks nice go back there and then your other on the opposite side So there you go, then put some more glue in the middle and smush it around a little bit. Then I like to grab a clear container and get your beads and pour them in the middle. Then tip them out into the container. Just do that one more time. And then pour it out. So there you go. Then I'll just pour that back into there. So then you want to get your box and your flower and stick and then stick that onto your box. And I like to get my finger at the bottom and then push it down up. So there you go. There's your box. I hope you enjoyed it.